All right, guys, we're back in action. It's another yak full send, and we're going to hit this big, beautiful lake called Lake Fork. I'm so stoked right now. Uh, I guess the goal is to break our PB, right? So we're just gonna call our PB 514 from the last fish I got on video and on a scale, and uh, we're gonna try to beat that. Let's go get it. All right, guys, we're out here. We're getting it started with the uh, rattle trap for now. Just uh, crossing over this point right here. Oh, it's really shallow right here. Um, we're just looking for a good ambush point right now. Like I said, this is this is the infamous Lake Fork. It's huge, and we know nothing about it. So we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna pedal around, throwing this moving bait at first, and then we'll go from there. There's a bunch of. Uh, like boat storage over here. And I got a jig tied on so we'll be able to flip up against that. Hung up on something. It's really shallow right here where I'm at. I don't know what I'm getting hung on. That's multiple times I've already got hung. And then I'm able to just pull it off. There must be stumps or something under this water. The main goal is to catch a PB, obviously, because this is supposed to be like the big bass lake of, of all of Texas, besides, I think, uh, I can't remember the name of that one, but supposed to be back big bass central so the goal is to catch a big one but secondary goal and the most important goal of all is to not get skunked good stump central right across from us i really don't want to fish one of these guys it'll seem like a dick move or i might just cut across go hit up those stumps before they do Keep this kayak going straight. All right, finally found this little hole. If the boats can't get into it. Just under the surface of the water. And there's still stumps in the water, so we got the structure. We got the wind. and catch us one. Just a rattle trap. We've been throwing this thing for a while now. And it might just not be the move. The pressure's high. The wind is kicking. Uh, what that might mean. A little bit slower. We okay, might not need to just start throwing the jig. Here, there's so much structure. All right, we're banked off. This spot just looks a little too juicy. Uh, I'm gonna grab the swim jig. I mean, look. Yeah. Look at these. There's just stumps right here. All right here. Got a brush pile right here. Just can't work this. Break the swim jig. Seems like the perfect spot for it. Seems like the perfect spot for a gator to lay too, though. Hang on, IT. Like I said, it's a big lake. We can't let it intimidate us. Um, bass are bass. Water's pushing this way. It should be on the wind, wind blown side. On top of the fact that there is just a ridiculous amount of structure. So we know there's bass here. So 
the water's pretty clear. Um, we got a, a nice bluegill color with the uh, saucy swimmer. I can't remember that color. Oh, this is one I cut for the chatterbait. I was wondering why I was swimming funny. There's still paddles, so. All right, guys, so we fished a couple of deep pockets. We've been out here for two hours. We haven't had any luck, not even a bite. Um, the one pocket I went down, it was so covered in stumps, I didn't figure any boats had been back there, so I thought we'd have a good chance of catch some, catching something back there, but there was no bait moving back there like we thought there was, or like we thought there was gonna be, because we're on the wind blown side, so we figured there'd be some, uh, some bait over here, but there's not. But we're not getting discouraged. We're gonna go, we're gonna take a long paddle back to the boat ramp and just north of it and see if we can't find that pocket that I'm seeing on the maps and uh, go from there. We gotta go all the way to where, where that bridge is. I don't know if y'all can see that. But uh, we're gonna start paddling before the wind picks back up and see if we can get on a fish because I don't wanna get skunked first time out on fork, but if we do, it happens. We're not far from the house, we can try it again, but I'm not giving up for now. We're gonna paddle on and uh, try again. All right, guys, we're almost to the, to the bridge. So we're trying to get to the other side of the bridge, but uh, the bridge wouldn't be a good, uh, or not a bad spot to stop and get some casts in. So we're gonna make to that bridge, we're gonna throw a jig or something, make the best out of our trip. No quitting us. We really wanna just get that skunk off our backs. So we can get over here to this bridge. Hopefully this uh, wind will stay pretty, pretty chill. This is about as chill as this, this is gonna get, I think, just because there's so much water, but we'll get over here and we'll start jigging. Stay with me. All right, we are at the bridge. Let's take some casts around this deal. See if we can't get that skunk off of it. Oh, been some crazy line to us with my rattle trap today. out here in the middle of the ocean. This rattle trap, trying to find a monster. Found one, if I find some. Found a log. Oh no, that's a fish. That's a fish. We're not getting skunked on Lake Fork. Let's go, boys. We're not getting skunked on Lake Fork. Look at that. We did it. We found one. On our first time ever at Lake Fork. We are not skunked. Oh, that feels so good. That feels so good. I thought I uh, got stuck on a log because I was over here casting in between all these trees and stuff. And, uh, you know, it was a, uh, it was a bat. Not the, not the truck you were looking for by any means, but it's a fish nonetheless. We'll start with them. We'll get a weight on them just for funsy. Since we are out here on Lake Fork. This dude is not trying to chill. Let's zero out. Yeah. Not a time, yeah. One eight. Locked in. Feisty guy though. Oh, sure, thank you for biting, buddy. We're not getting skunked because of you. So he was just on this uh, patch of trees. Oh, we're uh, on a patch of trees right behind me. So I'm just going to ease my way out of them. And back off of them. And keep casting into them. Oh my gosh, guys. If that was not the grind of a lifetime, <laughs> it's so stressful. <sighs> but we're out here and we did it. We caught one on fork. It wasn't the fork monster we wanted, but uh, we got one. So uh, let's we'll see if we can't get this big brother or something. Man, that's sick. Oh, we got another one. 
It's a tiny guy. Oh, and I just saw a big one bull on it. That's two. Oh, it came off right at the boat. Try to adjust the camera for you guys. It's okay. We just saw a bigger one right behind them. Bites have been so soft. You just think you're bumping off of a stump and then boom. There's a fish on the line. Not good for the hooks there. Oh my gosh, he just ate it at the boat, y'all. Oh my goodness. He ate it at the boat. Oh my gosh. A little different color. That red eye, some pop. And then uh, we got a crankbait on. Another rod. Now that we're, we got them kind of figured out, that's uh, one fish on, two missed. All on rattle trap, but you know, they're chasing bait, we know that. And they're hanging around in between these stumps, so that crankbait should give them a little slower, a little slower and more time to react uh, look on this bait here. Just something a little easier for them to see with the color. So we'll get at it and I'll pick up when I, when I hook into one. Just as I signed off, we got us a good one. Oh, oh my God, just by the front hook. Literally adjusted the outro. Uh, sounded a little defeated, I'm not gonna lie. I'm tired. It's been a grind. The second one's in the boat, and that is just a little football. Look at that guy. Man, so glad I was ever able to catch this one for y'all. And especially for me, this has been a grind for me. And an adventure, to say the least, going in an hour and 45 minutes from home. And, uh, you know, just grinding at a, at, a, at a place we've never been before. Let's see what this dude weighs. Oh, he bounced off a two flat. We're gonna try that again. Okay, here we go. Zeroed out. Okay. We'll take that all day. Two three. So we got a two three and a one seven for the day, and then those two that we missed. That was on the sexy shed. And we're just gonna let him get out of here. Thank you, buddy. Man, that was a, that was a nice bite. Oh, all right, they are literally busting all around. I'm just casting in circles. Make long cast. Just slow rolling back. Shot are going great. There we are. All right, guys, now we're gonna call it for sure. I'm drifting really, really far from where I started and uh, I'm about wore out. We have two, two fish in and out of the boat, a one and some change and a two and some change. And uh, that's good enough for me. And then we had that one that came off right at the front of the yak and then one that hit it and just missed it um, also right at the front of the yak. Like I said, uh, I'm feeling accomplished and um, I'm feeling tired and I'm feeling hungry. I hope you all really enjoyed this video and I hope you all continue to support. It's been much appreciated. And uh, I'm gonna continue to do as much fishing as I can. That way y'all can uh, get some good content. We're just gonna keep taking these leap of faith into these uh, uncharted waters. Seeing if we can't 
conquer some big bass. And today we didn't catch uh, catch that many, and we didn't catch any big ones, but caught some decent fish and a new body of water than that I'm proud of. So thank y'all for watching, and uh, we'll be back in action soon enough.